Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, now uh, we're going to jump into the puzzle number two of, of the advanced logic starters. This is the set that comes with the app. So, um, and we're going to try to use everything that we ha we have learned um, until now, and see if we can solve this one. <coughs> so let's start with the easy ones. It's already out there. Three. I see we have two. Okay, and yeah, right off the bat, um, as we just um, learned. Um, about the two numbers, difference of one on the edge, three and two, right? Same thing applies where at least one of the spaces have to be black. Um, but now three and three, the same numbers, that means this column here ha is equal to this column. So here I have one gray, one black. Same thing, I will have one gray and one black here. I don't know which one, but there's one. Now, 3 and 2, difference of 1, since I have one space that's black, this one obviously will be gray, right? And then we can get that number 1 there. Um, let's see what else. Okay, um, this one is one of those uh, logical ones um, that you have to be able to find. Uh, remember, 8 in the center, this means, of course, obviously, 8 of the spaces will be black and that means one will be gray and only one will be gray right you cannot have more than two grays uh, and if you look at the five right, I have four spaces black already I just need one more just need one more to make make the five now if I let's say this is the my other black in the five this means these two will become gray which is impossible because I have the eight, right? So um, that that one more black space for 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 the five has to be in one of the two spaces here. Otherwise, it wouldn't work, right? So, of course, we don't know which one, but we do know for sure that one of them is black and one the other one is gray. That means the rest have to be black, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one more here to make an eight, right? So um, of course I could do the three here like this, but let me just go back to here to show you another logical one, which is now that we know one of them is a black, uh, is black, then if you look at the five. I have one, two, three, four, and then five in one of these cells, uh, one of these uh, spaces. So one, two, three, four, five. That means this one will be gray. So you could do that, right? Of course, I'm just gonna do the obvious ones like that. Four is the two. Um, Another one here, similar, number six in the, in the center. Uh, that means I will have six spaces that will be black, which means three of the spaces will be gray. Right, three of the spaces. Now, I already have two grays here. That means only one space here, one of the spaces here, will be gray. And only one, no more, no less. Okay? And then if you look at the four up there, you already have three. So one of these four spaces will be black, right? Let's say that black happens to be there. That means these will be gray out, gray out, right? But then I have four grays in here. I can, I can only have three, right? So what does that mean? When you look at the four, that one more black space has to fall in one of these two spaces, right? So that'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Now, since one of these 
is black. If you look at the four, I have one, two, three, and one more to make a four. So I found all four. So the remaining spaces would be gray. Um, numbers on the edge, the difference of two, three, and five. What does that mean? In this column, you'll have two spaces that are black, and only two, right? But you already found two, okay? So, uh, so the other one has to be gray. Now we found that. This is another given one, given one. Okay, number six here. Same thing. Goes there. Okay. Um, so, uh, okay, this one you could tell that the difference of one, seven and six, right? I have two spaces that are black. That means I would have one more black here. Since I have two grays already, this one has to be black, right? So you could do this, you could do that, uh, and you continue. But before we do it, I just wanted to point out one more thing. Uh, one more. Um, okay, look at the eight and the seven. Eight and the seven. Now the column here to the next to the smaller number eight and the seven. Right, difference of one. What's the most number of black squares you can have? Black spaces. We just learned this. You could you could only have two, and that's the maximum. And when you have two, that means this side has to be all black. Right, so. Uh, and then, yeah, this is another given one. You, you know, you could do this, but let me just show you this. Um, five and a three, difference of two. So you have to have minimum two spaces here um, that, are, that will be black. And so then, then five, five, three, two. <coughs> Numbers on the edge. Five and a four. Okay, you cannot have more than one black on this in in, in this row, right? So it'll be two up there, one down here. Okay. Now, same thing. Five five, same number, right? Whatever I have here will be seen. I have two spaces that are black, so these two spaces will also be black. So I got that, 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 and that. Um, three, three. Okay, this one I'm gonna show you two ways, two different ways. Um, actually, I can show you I think three different ways of solving this. Okay. Um, now when you get to a harder level, um, maybe maybe there's only one one solution for this. But now I could see I could see three. So let me start with the first one. Um, you look at the six here, I have already two gray space, two spaces that are gray. So that means I could have just one more, right? Now, and the, the seven here, if you look at the seven, uh, six spaces black already. So one of them will be black, one of them will be gray, right? Looking at the six, right? If you look at the cross, right? You see, one of them will be gray here. We don't know which one. So that'll be one gray, two, and three. Right? Just look at the cross. One will be gray here. One, two, and a three. So we found all three gray. So we could do that. Right? And then uh, numbers on the edge, three and five, difference of two. That means on this column, I have to have two black uh, squares, that's it, no more. And then, okay, I don't want to finish it because I want I do want to show you the other way. Um, I said three, but uh, yeah, that was actually two because one was actually, I was looking at this. Um, I mean, okay, let me just cover that, yes. Uh, another way to do it is this. Since you know that five and a three, the difference of two, since you know that only one of them here will be black and one, one will be gray, right? So if you look at the six here, so I have one, two, three, four, one of these two, right? Four, five, six. So it becomes like that. And then 
what the human was, and then you could finish it. That was the second way. And the third one is, um, third one is, um, okay, um, now, now, well, if you look at the six and the and the the four remaining white spaces, um, since I already have three black um, squares here, that means looking at the six, I have three here, so I must have three more in here. I don't know which one, but I will have three more, right? So that means three will be black. Now, if you look at the five, I have one black, two two black uh, spaces. And then I would have three black spaces here somewhere. So that's three, four, five, right? So that means these two will be gray. So you could do this, do that, and and you could finish it. Okay. So um, yeah, I I didn't. I think uh, we'll be able to solve this uh, based on what we know so far, but we were able to. So in my next video, uh, before I go into a different tutorial, uh, I'm going to jump into the, the third puzzle, and then uh, we're going to do the same thing. So stay tuned. Thank you.